I think that's what I do. I wait for something bad to happen, which like, what kind of life is that? I don't know if any of this is making any sense. Swoop, AKA Spanky Valentine, just made her follow-up video discussing how she's still struggling with her mental illness, but she actually has some great tips for overcoming depression and anxiety. up everybody this is Chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so real quick before I jump into the amazingness that is swoop I do want to do a not sponsored plug real quick. So BetterHelp is online therapy. They do help support the channel through uh, an affiliate link, but they reached out and let me know that they're actually providing free therapy to anybody who has been affected by the California wildfires. So even if you're not somebody who's been affected and you know somebody who has been affected by the California wildfires, like let them know, all right? I will provide the link down below where you can get all the information. It's very simple. You just go, you fill out this little questionnaire just so they can verify that you're actually from California, you were affected by the wildfires. But the other thing is too, this is 100% free for three months, okay? And this isn't even like the trial membership. Like you don't even have to put in your card information. BetterHelp is doing this just to give back to everybody who's been affected by the California wildfires. And a lot of these things can cause things like trauma and anxiety, depression, all sorts of stuff. So if you know somebody in California who was affected by this, please share this link with them. All right, so Swoop, amazing gal, amazing, amazing woman. Did I ever tell you that I got the chance to meet her at Vid Summit a couple months ago when I was in LA? Look, that's us right there. But anyways, um, she made a video that actually won an award at Bufferfest, you know, talking about her anxiety and like, it was really powerful and amazing, and I did um, a reaction video to it. But anyway, she just did a follow-up to it, talking about how she's still struggling. So what I wanna do is kinda break that thing down and discuss like different things that I still deal with and how I overcome them, some great points that uh, Swoop brought up, and hopefully you can learn some things to help overcome your depression and anxiety, a little step by step by step. And the reality is my brain did its thing, got the better of me, and literally the very next day after winning that award, I went into one of my dark moments and my brain was like well yeah you won something you got acknowledged for something that's great that's cool finally but like you'll probably never live up to it again or you may never do anything that good again or maybe they made a mistake right here she's talking about that imposter syndrome right like swoop won this award like she's on the top of the world and so many people are coming up to her and thanking her and i like and when you when i watched it like there were so many people who were touched by her film but there's something in our brain that tells us that we're not good enough and this is something that that i i deal with that i struggle with and something that i haven't made a video on but i'll touch on it right now is i try to find a balance between humility and confidence right because it, there's this very very fine line between like confidence and cockiness and i never want to get to this point where i'm like oh i'm just big awesome guy and all this other stuff like even some of the attention i get just because my channel's growing like makes me uncomfortable because my ego wants me to think that i am just i don't know the bee's knees if you will but at the same time, like Swoop's talking about, we can't just beat ourselves up. So we gotta find this kind of balance where we're confident in what we're doing. We need to know that we do deserve these successes, but without becoming a jerk about it. But would you just, if you're comfortable, leave a comment right now and tell me something that you have been struggling with. Well, Swoop, here's the answer to that question. Um, I actually commented on the video about this. Like something that I've been struggling with is just everything's been going really well and let's just talk about the youtube channel specifically like my channel has pretty much doubled in size in the last month month and a half and i'm just waiting for it i'm just waiting for it to all stop and go away like something that swoop talked about was you know um after she won that award she was like oh this is the thing this is gonna keep me happy for so long and like i am just always waiting i'm like okay when's this gonna stop when's this gonna slow down like sometimes i actually just want it to stop 
just so I can be like, okay, good, it's over with. It's kind of like, it's kind of like jump scares in a scary movie. I'm not a huge fan of scary movies, but I just want them to just come out. I want them to scare the crap out of me just to get it over with. It's very easy, at least for me, to hold on to the dark stuff, the dark side of things, because that's where I've lived for so much of my life, and that's where I feel I'm only worthy of the bad things. And so when the good things happen, I don't allow myself, I just don't allow it for me. It's like I mentally am like, yeah, but I'm not deserving somehow. What she's talking about right there, I can relate, and I don't know if you can too. It's something that I, I actually forgot about for a long time. So my life was always just pure chaos, pure chaos. Um, you know, growing up, you know, just having an alcoholic mom and my dad was constantly working and I never knew like if we were gonna have money to pay the bills and just so many things. Like my life was constantly chaotic. And I've talked about this in some of my relationship videos. Like I used to date women who would make my life chaotic, right? And something that I, I found was six and a half years ago when I started working on my mental health, I got really uncomfortable. I would actually start to get anxiety when everything was fine. Like when everything was good, I would start to freak out. Like my brain would, would like it tries to find something to freak out about and it can't and it's this really weird feeling. And if you wanna help me not feel crazy, let me know if you've ever experienced that as well. But anyways, the one way that I overcame this was just like reminding myself over and over and over like, you see a lot of people say it's okay to not be okay. It's also okay to be okay, all right? Like, remember that, remind yourself that. Like, it's okay, because sometimes, like, you know, I cover a lot of YouTubers and talk about their crazy, hectic lives or whatever it is, and some people stay, stay that way because they're comfortable in it. They don't know how to live another way. So something I had to do to start fixing my mental health was learning how to be comfortable with everything just being chill. But I have learned at this point that I have a level of just work-related PTSD from what happened with my last channel and all of the years that I put into that and the just terrible thing that happened uh, there. Work-related PTSD? Girl, me too. So I touched on this a little bit in the video I did about Shane and Ryland the other day, but this is for a, a variety of different reasons. Like I remember, you know, 2008 when the economy went like <sighs> terrible. Um, I was working in the car dealership industry. Car dealerships were getting shut down left and right. People are getting laid off. But even more so, like I was a drug addict and alcoholic for near a decade. I got fired so many times, so many times. So now today that I'm like clean, sober, a good employee, a hard worker, I still have that, that part of my brain that thinks I'm always gonna be in trouble. So whenever I get like an email from my boss or a text or my boss is calling me, my brain goes a million miles a minute like, what did I do, what did I do? Like the worst thing ever is like, hey, um, can we talk, you know? And like the worst thing is like, beyond that is like when they're like, hey, can we meet tomorrow? And now I have like 24 hours to stress and freak out about this. So something that I have to do is kind of like what I've talked about with relationships. I think I mentioned in the Shane and Ryland video. I can't bring that baggage from my past work situations into the new one. I can't do that or it's gonna drive me absolutely nuts. And sometimes what I have to do is sit down and either write it down on paper or just go through it in my head and separate the truth from the false. Like when my boss wants to see me, like, and my brain's like, you're gonna get fired, Chris, and how are you gonna, you know, pay your bills? How are you gonna feed your son? How are you gonna do this, da, 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 right? I have to remind myself like, Chris, you've been working really hard, you've been, you haven't screwed anything up, so I have to remind myself the truth of the situation because my brain likes to think up all sorts of crazy stuff when I get anxious. I've been learning so much more about mental health lately and just how mine has just not been in a good place for a very, very long time and I was neglecting it for so long. It's, <laughs> it's been rough, it's been really rough. I'm also learning just how much I wear myself down with self hate and I wonder if you guys can relate to that as well yes like I can relate to this so swoop has been you know on this kind of journey of like self-discovery and learning more about mental health and the importance of it for me I can relate to this when it comes to mindfulness and the way I often explain this is I found mindfulness meditation when I was about three years sober so on a scale of one to ten on a scale of one to 10, I thought my life, 
was at like an eight, right? Things are going really good. But when I found mindfulness meditation and actually started practicing it, what I realized was my life wasn't at an eight. My life was actually at like a six because it was still pretty hectic. I had a lot of difficulty managing my emotions. But then once I started practicing, it went up to a nine, okay? So like, this is something like some of us, we think everything's fine. We think everything's okay. One of the reasons I have this channel is to explain that mental health is a lot more than just not having a mental disorder, right? Like, we need to learn, like, no, we don't have to be angry all the time. No, we don't have to be nervous all the time. No, we don't have to have our emotions fly all over the place all the time. Like, yeah, some of this is normal, but there's always room for improving our mental health. And I didn't even realize that until just a few years ago. And that's one of the reasons I started this channel, to teach you that there's always room to grow when it comes to your mental health. I'm learning now that when I have these, like, great moments and things that happen, to just really allow my myself to live in that great moment and not beat myself up so much or start anticipating when the bad's gonna happen again. Right there, it helps me circle back to what I was explaining earlier when uh, I answered that question. Like, I'm waiting for all this stuff to just stop. I'm waiting for my videos to quit getting views. I'm waiting for subscribers to quit going up. I'm waiting for people to quit liking my videos, whatever it is, right? So what Swoop is talking about is mindfulness. Mindfulness is a practice of being in the present moment, okay? I cannot constantly worry about what has not happened yet. If things are good right now, I need to embrace it. And that's what you need to do too. If things are going good right now, maybe it's today or just in this moment, if just in this moment, things are going good for you, like just bathe in it, bask in it, be like, okay, things are good right now. Like just enjoy it while it's there, all right? But we can't constantly keep future tripping and saying, when's this gonna fail? When's this gonna fail? Because this is something that, you know, if you're somebody like me who used to self-sabotage a lot, what happens is, is that we create this self-fulfilling prophecy, right? We expect something terrible to happen, and on a subconscious level, we're actually setting ourselves up to fail. So what I want you to start working on is being okay with things being good right now and just enjoying it, even if it's just for this one minute. Let me say this, while, while I know that so much of my life has been just living in that darkness, has been lost in darkness, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready for a change. <sighs> And, and I want to finally step into that light and to just take life for all that it has to offer. <sighs> that sounds pretty good. And last but not least, I love how she ended this video. Like, you, all of you, it's time for a change. It is time for a change, right? We talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. How long have you been sitting in the problem? Maybe as you're watching this right now, you've been sitting in the problem for hours or maybe days. Now it's time to get into the solution, okay? So what I want you to do down in the comments below, let me know how today you are gonna get into the solution, all right? But anyways, I'm gonna link over to Swoop's video. She is amazing, and next time I'm in LA, hopefully her and I get to collab. She is such an awesome woman go subscribe to her channel she's doing amazing things she's such is such an awesome film creator i am so jealous but anyways go check out her channel but that's all i got for you with this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because i make a ton of videos and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all awesome if you would like to become a patron and get exclusive content click or tap right there and don't forget there's a link down below for free therapy for anybody affected by the california wildfires down in the description all right Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.